Hurricane Irma. That life jacket, of course. Dangerous. Is the Holy Spirit. Who uh, keeps us safe from sin. The lightning. Well, the thing is, that little storm there just happened recent. But what's happening in uh, Florida, you better watch out. My cousins are out there, uh, three Andrews actually, and uh, they say it's category 5 storm on the way, so you better watch out Florida, because it looks really dangerous, you better go to higher ground, as the uh, authorities are warning there, you need to make your preparation now, dangerous, just a little storm can do all that. And the Bible teaches us that the sea and the waves will roar in uh, Luke's Gospel, chapter 21 and uh, verse uh, 25. If the sea and the waves are going to roar, then Jesus is warning us at the end of the world that there's going to be a change in the weather. Some people call that um, global warming, but, uh, well, whatever you call it, it looks dangerous. The super hurricane. Powerful that uh, it's already smashed the uh, wind, uh, you know, thing. What it records the wind, you know, those little cups. And um, they have never seen such a big, powerful storm. Three over 300 km. It's the first year. Mile an hour. The Do you know, that's 120 mile an hour that? swimming winds heading towards Florida. Sun well. and the sun, moon and stars on the Pacific. The perplexity, the sea, and the waves roaring. See, Jesus warns us that men's hearts would fail them in the last days before he comes back. Powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then another verse says about get away from the winds. So this is a super hurricane, which is unbelievable. But Jesus said that sea and the waves are going to roar, and. Um, the word salos is in the prophetical, which means, and in the Greek, or salos, it was just salt, we get the word from sea, right? But it means more than salty sea, it means that it's doing something in the Greek, because it's in the prophetical. So sea in the ways of roaring, Luke 21, verse 24 and 25. So, if so I just pointed out some of these um, videos I've done, but uh, the thing is, um, the Gog and Magog issue talks about huge fire and brimstone and floods and things. That's an important point. You need to know what, how high you are above because there's a 20 foot sea surge predicted and 20 foot is huge. Um, even 6 meters, so what's that? Right, here we go. Um, there's 20 foot in it. And this is the prophecy, verse 22, Ezekiel. Okay, chapter 38. It says God would plead against them with blood and rain uh, an overflowing flood see that overflowing rain a great hailstone the fire and the brimstone but notice it was against the Gog and Magog but if we were to take that further and see what Gog and Magog does in the latter days on the earth the prophecy says that they were in verse um, I'll show you now verse 8 here Okay, if you can read that, they went up on the breadth of the earth, earth and they camped against the saints, which is the Christians. And fire came down from God, okay, and dis and burned them all up. And I, I'm wondering actually that uh, brimstone. Hmm. So it says that they spat up fire, brimstone and smoke. And uh, for the last five months in chapter 9 of Revelation, 
which is 150 or 150 days, 150 years, I think, since the first war to the end of the world, I think. But here, notice that it says there, okay, Gog and Magog, to gather them to battle, right? This is Armageddon stuff. And involved against Gog and Magog, Magog was all the overflowing flowing rain. And if you know at the end of the world, the prophecy about the floods and all that, I mean, honestly, we're seeing it all over the earth now. And um, seeing where it's roaring, by the way, is after the Jews repossessed Jerusalem, Jesus prophesied Jerusalem would be trodden down by the Gentiles until that time was fulfilled. Then the sea and the waves would roll, and there'd be signs in the stars and things. Well, that red supernova, that's a star, it's coming in 2022, uh, in the springtime. And that'll be a sign, because this is going to be as bright as Venus, isn't it? Signs in the stars and sun and the moon. But no, the purpose of this video is to uh, just to say, get safe, get safe ground, tie everything down. Board everything up in Florida. Don't take any chances and uh, get moved out if you can. Stay safe.